Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to present a few alternatives to Google Sites. Google Sites is a good option that uh, you can create simple website with, but there are some good alternatives that you can create a website with too. So let's start. The first one is Wix. Wix uh, is really good and it's been re here for a long time. Uh, how you can create websites. The huge advantage about Wix is that you can actually move and play around with every single element as much as you want, right? So that's pretty good. But there comes also disadvantage with it. The disadvantage is that, yes, you can really play around it as much as you want, but you got the limitation of um, from the SEO perspective. What do I mean? Google loves when a website is responsive. And if you like to play around with things, which can be effective. But other than that, uh, it's not going to be that great only because you have to do also mobile edit, not only desktop. And there are not a lot of Wix websites which are on the first pages on Google only because they are not really responsive. And you see this as a huge disadvantage that people are saying that, oh my God, I don't use Wix because of this. So Wix is all right, but just keep in mind that if you really want to play around with your website, Wix is a good choice, but I wouldn't personally choose it. So that's the first thing that you need to keep in mind if you want to use Wix. The next one I prepared for you is Weebly. Weebly offers you a way how you can build your own website too. What I like is mainly the pricing standpoint that is like pretty cheap when you come here. Free Connect Pro Business and you can also create an online store if you want to. Uh, it all works based on sections and you can create a really good website. Now the difference between Wix and Weebly for example is that Weebly uh, got sections and Wix does, does have sections too but you can play around with things. Now this is the first thing. And the next thing um, is that with Weebly how is it for free you can actually test it out as much as you want. Now the next one I prepared for you is a card co. Card co offers you a way how you can create one page sites for pretty much anything and there are like plenty of tutorials how people are using uh, card co. And I would definitely recommend checking it out too if you want to um, create a good website. So Cardco is a good option that you can use if you want to create your own website. Now the next one is Squarespace. I recommend everyone Squarespace. You can, you're going to have like 14 day free trial here. Um, you, it works based on sections. So you simply come here, you click add a section and you just add section like this one here. And you can simply click plus. And you can add some elements, text, button, image, video. What I like about Squarespace is that if you really want to go on higher strength or like higher quality, that's the better word, is that I would definitely recommend Squarespace. Now, Squarespace, yes, you have to pay for it comparing to Google Sites, which is free, but uh, you don't have, you're not so limited comparing to Google Sites. So Squarespace is a good option that you can use if you want to actually build your own website. And I would definitely recommend checking it out. So Squarespace is another one. And the last one I prepared for you is Elementor. It's connected with WordPress. I know that the learning curve is a little bit higher comparing to the others. Is that you have to get your own domain, web hosting, then install WordPress, then buy uh, Elementor, which costs $50 a year. But after it, uh, you're covered, right? So... This is something that I would definitely recommend check it out. If you want to create your own website, Elementor is really good options for it. So um, Elementor also is working based on sections and elements that you can add. And you can see right here how it works. So I would definitely recommend checking it out if you want to. And that's pretty much it. So to summarize this whole video, what are some good alternatives to Google Sites? The first one is Wix. Wix uh, gives you option to move everything. You get plenty of applications. You can click add plenty of sections that you can add plenty of elements. Then we have Weebly. Weebly is free and you can create your own website with the sections. Then we have Cardco, card.co. You can create a one page sites. So that's good too. Then we're going to see Squarespace here. Squarespace is a really good option. And I would recommend everyone if you want to go on a higher level. 
So that's a good option too. And the last one is Elementor. So these are the alternatives that I personally have for you. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be pretty happy to help and provide some guidance, support. You know how it goes, you know how it is. And yeah, thank you. Have a great day. Goodbye. See ya.